Professor Vinwayso was recruited to explore the very building blocks of life in the Folbig children, to sequence their genetic code, to discover, if it existed, a glitch that might explain their deaths. We now had sequencing technologies that were not available at the time of the trial in 2003, and we could now sequence entire genomes, the three billion letters in the genome. Many of these conditions that cause sudden unexpected death are inherited cardiac arrhythmias. So there was a chance that if there was going to be a genetic mutation, the children would have inherited it from either the father or the mother. So Kathleen was a good place to start. Within about half an hour, we both had gone through the data and both of us came up with the same candidate gene. The top of both of our lists was this mutation in a gene called CAM2. 